Hey guys, Alex from Online Terror with a new pick a card reading. Why is he or she not reaching out? So before I start, I want to say, well, first of all, thank you. Thank you for following me, for sharing my videos, for commenting. You guys are awesome. Every time I read comments, like you make me smile, you make me cry sometimes. I do read all of them and I'm really sorry for all the difficult situations you are going through, guys. But uh, you are amazing. I'm loving the community we are building here together. And uh, I just want to say one more thing, guys. If you're wondering what tarot is and what tarot isn't, what it can do and what it can't do, please go to the community section on my channel and read the manifest I wrote there. So uh, it will help you to understand uh, what readings can help you with. And uh, if this video is not for you today, please don't get upset. Check my other videos. These messages are for those who need to hear them now. These three options do not cover all possible options and situations. These are just three groups of people I'm connecting with today. So uh, you may not be drawn to any of the pile or you may be drawn to two or three of them. So just follow your intuition, all right? And uh, if you enjoyed the video please hit the like button subscribe stay tuned for more let me know in the comments what you think and if you are in need of a private reading the information how to get one with me is down below in the description box so let's start with pile number one no extensions today so i have a monday video with extension and i will have one more pick a card this week with extensions oh i'm sorry my bad so we have pile number one with this uh, beautiful three-colored cat eye pile number two with the yellow cat eye see the like a, like an eyeball and pile number three with white quartz also very beautiful so you can pause meditate use a pendulum choose by a number but i do not advise choosing the same number every time change them or maybe this time choose by number that's why i'm using the the stones the trinkets different things for to boost your intuition um so we're starting with the pile number one for those who chose the three colored cat's eye so why is he or she not reaching out so i have a helper here So we have seven of wands, disagreement, eight of pentacles is poverty. These cards, they have a bit different meaning than the usual tarot. And uh, kind of sad, knight of wands, queen of pentacles and eight of cups. So uh, why is your person not reaching out? I think that whoever chose power one you you had some kind of a fight you had some kind of a fight and you saw the situation differently you think that they this is their fault they think that this is your fault and uh, none of you are investing or reaching out at this moment and it's like with this eight of pentacles and poverty card it's like you are sitting there feeling hurt feeling like you are a victim in this situation and they are doing the same. But both of you, you still have uh, some passion for each other. At the same time, you're questioning, one of you is questioning, by the way, uh, during the general readings, energies can be swapped. The information can be swapped. It can be about your person, but it can be about you. Please don't get... <laughs> surprised about it if you have a strong connection or a strong focus on another person energies can be swapped um so one of you is questioning like shall i try again shall i invest again and the other one is questioning like am i worthy enough am i attractive enough am i beautiful enough am i smart enough is there something enough with me and both of you are questioning we have two times eight like whether i should leave it behind or not 
there, be, there has been some kind of a fight. So they are not reaching out because they are not sure that it's the right thing for them to do to invest their energy. And they, f they feel like they were the victim in this situation. So let's see more. Ace of Fire. Wow. This is, this is Ace of Wands. I've been drawn to, to all green and orange cards this time. Four of Air, it's Four of Swords. Ten of Cups. Nine of Swords. And Queen of Fire. So, there is passion there for sure. On both sides of this connection. But I think that to get to this Ten of Cups, to get to this abandonment, abundance in happiness, abundance in emotions, in, in cups, you need to heal. There is some healing to be done. Healing of this um, victimhood mentality issues. And your person they want they want this happiness they want this happiness because they they are very much attracted to you but at the same time you think that there is someone else you are driving yourself crazy with like with this keeping yourself in the prison of your mind in this circle the same thoughts over and over again is there someone else is there this Queen of Fire, you think that this might be someone else uh, they left you for. Okay, it's getting even more complicated now. Five of Swords, Six of Wands, Six of Cups. Nine of Pentacles. And the Queen of Swords. So, with this Five of Swords, this person, yes, definitely, I'm getting that this is Knight of Wands, it's their energy. And uh, Queen of Pentacles, it's more your energy cards are not gender specific. I just feel like this is more about the viewer and this is about the other person. And since you're waiting for them to reach out, and but they are feeling defeated with this uh, disagreement card they are feeling defeated and I feel like this was a very heated argument between two of you it was a serious fight and uh, they are questioning they are also questioning if there is someone else and they are probably thinking that maybe with the six of wands maybe it's better for me to be on my own You, on the other hand, you want this connection to happen. It's like a dream come true for you, but you are very cold and disbelieving. You are in disbelief that there is no one, no one else. I don't know why both of you kind of have this energy that there might be someone else. With the Six of Cups, there is an undeniable connection between two of you, but in this deck, it also speaks about, like, you seeing them with someone else or them seeing you with with someone else and i think it's about them as well they think that mo most probably you are with someone else already so you are in no communication for a while so they think that most probably if they come back they will see you with someone else so they've lost already though they have a lot of passion for you and you would like them to come but at the same time you are being very very cold like in this energy like I don't believe that there is no one else I don't believe it okay let's see a little bit more so what is stopping them from reaching out let's see they are very doubtful they are not sure, not sure whether you need their passion, but they want it. You see, they have a lot of passion. Look, 
we have the ace of uh, ace of wands the king of wands the uh, knight of wands the page of wands and you see this one is like bigger than he is but at the same time they see you as someone to to um to focus on 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 your common future with they want a future with you and uh, i think that you are also waiting for them you're waiting you're waiting you're waiting for them to come through and you are anxiously wondering if they won't you need to really kind of mm, get a bit warmer to them because they have a lot of fire but at the same time you are waiting for them to come through but you're very cold this energy uh, and I believe they feel it as well. But anyway, there is some apologies coming through. Some offer, some message, some apologies coming through with this Page of Cups. To you, to this Queen of Swords. So what, whatever you, you're you waiting for, it will come through. But I'm getting, if, if you want it to come through quicker, you need to kind of get a little bit less cold to this person, okay? Okay, thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed the reading and uh, I'll, i hope to see you on my other videos and uh, we are moving to the pile number two with the yellow cat's eye okay so why is he or she not reaching out we have page of cups the love these cards they have a bit different meaning than the usual tarot uh, King of Swords, the Consciousness, Conscience, Six of Cups, Connection, and uh, Emperor in Reverse, someone feeling powerless, and Nine of Cups. So, this person have a lot of feelings, this person, they have a lot of feelings for you. And uh, at the same time, they feel I'm getting remorse. They feel remorse and with this emperor in reverse, like, I wish I could change it. Like, I wish I could change it because, like, reaching out to you, it's their dream come true. We have the page of cups, the six of cups, and the nine of cups. It's like, you either know this person from your very young years, youth, childhood love, uh your first love maybe school college whatever or there is some kind of connection between your two souls like you can feel each other you can read, read each other's thoughts and so on and so forth and they though they have a lot in their life they feel lonely without you they they need you to feel complete they need this one cup to to have their ten of cups this one yours cup Okay, let's see more so why they are not reaching out the Sun definitely like you bring light in their life you are their happiness the Sun is the happiest card in the deck and you are like they adore you the messenger of air it's the um, page of swords and the queen of air uh-huh the Queen of Air is the Queen of Swords. Just give me a second. Three of Pentacles. Eight of Fire. They want to reach out to you to bring some clarity, but they feel like you are going to be very cold because this Six of Cups card, it represents you in this reading for me. And uh, they, they are afraid that you will be, you won't listen, that you won't listen to them. But they can't help themselves. They want to be with you with this three of pentacles. They want to be with the, be with you. They want to um, build some kind of connection with you. The relationship. Three of pentacles speaks about being a team, being uh, bring, building a relationship together, investing into this relationship, being a team. And uh, the eight of fire is action, communication. It's like they, they want it. You are this dream come true and they're reaching out with this eight of wands. They're going to reach out. So what's stopping them is 
than being afraid that you will be cold, that you won't accept their love. Okay, anything else about this situation for those who chose pile number two? Hierophant. Ten of Wands. The World. Wow, Two of Swords. Ten of Swords. So this cycle is definitely ending. The cycle is definitely ending with this Hierophant and the Sun. Um, and the cup of love they want to offer you. It's their love for you the, is so strong. It's not simply some kind of desire, but it's something deep with the Hierophant. It's something um, based on the soul level. It's like they feel that you are connected somehow. And them not talking to you is is a burden for them it's very difficult for them and they've been carrying it with them for a while now but the cycle is coming to an end they are going to to reach out and it's like even if you're meeting me with the sword no i'm how to say they're ready to fight you for you I want to clarify this Ten of Swords. So why the Ten of Swords? Here we have Ten of Wands, Ten of Swords, the World card. Wow, the Devil. So there is uh, some incredible passion. There is some incredible passion on their side for you. And with the Sun, they love you on every level. There is soul connection. There is passion. There is uh, feelings. The Wheel of Fortune. So and they are tired of watching you from the distance of wanting you from the distance and they're ready to fight you for you so with this world card we have two tens we have the world card on the table and we have the wheel of fortune the situation is definitely changing they are reaching out to you they are going to face you and fight you for you and uh it's up to you guys because we have the wheel of fortune the situation is changing the previous uh cycle what you have here is ending but it's up to you where it can lead to so this is intense and this is promising i hope you enjoyed the reading guys if you did please hit the like button buttons stay tuned for more let me know in the comments what you think and i'd love to see you on my other videos so we are moving to the pile number three so let's see what's here so why your person is not reaching out we have the foresight these cards they be different than the usual tarot they have their own meaning dependence king of cups four of cups and three of swords well this person has well first of all this person whether it's a he or she remember cards are not gender specific they have feelings for you they have feelings for you, but I'm also getting that they're somewhere far away from you, sitting there with their cup and um, not opening up to you, being heartbroken, kind of trying to, with this foresight card, they're trying to calculate everything. And um, there is also some... Some situation that uh, is out of their reach, out of their control. They might be depending on someone for money, maybe their family, maybe their uh, their job. So the job took them away from you, something like this. But there is definitely a lot of healing to be done. It's like they they are not happy where they are because they don't have you. They are heartbroken over this situation. I'm also getting that they're, they're trying to overanalyze everything and like every every step, every tiny detail, they want to, how to say, not that they want to have it under control, but they're kind of bargaining, bargaining with themselves over every tiny step. It's like 
if I would do this, uh, and they're giving themselves negative answers, like, if I do this, oh, she or he will say this, uh, she will tell me this, she will, it's like, they are bargaining with themselves for every tiny step, I don't know why. Five of, five of earth, five of pentacles. Ten of wands. Yeah, page of page of pentacles. Knight of Knight of Wands and Two of Swords. So oh this one. Also wanted to come. This is Ace of Swords. So guys, this person definitely have some abandonment issues again and them not being not seeing themselves it's not that they are not able to reach out to you they they're not seeing themselves able to reach out to you is a burden for them they want this clarity they want to reach out to you they want to to fly to you they want to be clear they want to have a new beginning we also have the message messenger of fire and uh they want to tell you that they have passion for you, that they want to speak to you, that they have the they have this love, they have a lot to say, I'm getting. But again, they're stuck. They're stuck and it's they are keeping themselves heartbroken and making themselves believe. No one else. But they are stuck in this victimhood mentality. I'm sorry. It's difficult to overcome. You see, five again, they're fighting themselves. But we have two fives and ten already. There's something coming. Nine. I'm getting that uh, they are not in the end of this cycle yet. Yeah. But it's coming with the death card. The transformation is coming. Five, 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 three, five. It's the, the tower moment is coming. And they will have to face the choice. This lovers is the choice. They will have to face this choice. Now they're kind of avoiding this choice. They're keeping themselves miserable. Um, like, I'm unable to do this. You know, I'm a victim here. Like, I can't do this. I can't do that. You see? Uh, and it's like they are creating this reality for themselves. But we have five, five, and five. Again, this is coming to an end. Some kind of transformation is coming. Because with this nine of swords... And the Ten of Wands, it's like it's been for far too long. They have kept themselves in this situation. They said, like, no more. No more. I'm leaving. This situation has to end. This has to end. And they will be facing their choice. It's like there is no escaping this choice any longer. Okay. Major transformation. Major transformation transformation that will bring some clarity into you as well so what else can we get about those who chose pile number three for those who chose pile number three again five of wands two two cards which one this one eight of wands okay this one still show up nine of pentacles again nine nine The magician and three of cups so guys this person is going through some major major transformation with the death card with the energy of the tower moment it's like they're realizing that that enough is enough enough of this dependence enough of keeping myself stuck i want to be independent i want to stay strong on my feet i want to support myself they are focusing on uh, becoming independent stepping away from this situation because it was enough and when they are independent they are going to reach out to you they're going to reach out to you with this uh, magician it's like they need to really master a lot they really need to go through some healing and to switch from this victim mentality into the magician mode like i've mastered this this and that and now now i want to reach out to you and i want to bring some joy and happiness into your life because this is celebration like 
I came here, but this is their intention. I don't know how you are going to accept them when they show up because this is this is a process. This is a process of healing. So unless they switch out from this mentality, unless they see themselves differently, value this on themselves differently, practice uh, law of manifestation, practice um, personal empowerment, like expanding their own abilities and relying on themselves there won't be any happiness but since there is celebration i do think that you will still be happy to see them you will still be happy to see them when they come but some time it will take some time guys always takes time so i hope you enjoyed the reading anyways and uh hope to see you in my other videos have a wonderful day and bye guys